The Cleveland Cavaliers have been on absolute fire as of late and are now sitting in third place in the Eastern Conference standings. Not only is this team good, they are also one of the most fun teams to watch right now as their team is filled with young talented prospects that are all looking to make names for themselves in the NBA. Every year there are multiple teams that exceed their expectations from the start of the season and I think it's pretty safe to say that the Cleveland Cavaliers have absolutely abolished any of the pre-existing expectations that practically everyone had put on them. Going into the year, Cleveland was projected to win only 30 games this season, and just to give you a glimpse of where they're at now, it is not even halfway through the year, and they already have 19 wins and just 12 losses. Starting from being a team that was supposed to get eliminated from the playoffs in the Eastern Conference, this team has now climbed their way up the ranks, have won 6 straight games, and have also become victors in 8 of their last 10 contests. This has led the blazing hot Cavs to jump up to the fourth spot in the NBA's official power ranking out of the entire NBA ahead of Christmas and this team does not seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Their upcoming schedule is considerably favorable for the team to continue their streak and to try to make a push for the top two seeds in the Eastern Conference as they play the Celtics, Raptors, Pelicans, Wizards, Hawks, and the Pacers next, which are all games the Cavs will most likely be favored to win. Up until this point in the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers have had the second hardest schedule behind the Portland Trailblazers and just to give you a glimpse of what's to come out of the remaining schedules in the entire NBA the Cavs now have the easiest schedule for the remainder of the season talk about a turnaround for this team since the Cavs have had to battle their way through the first quarter of the season let's start to talk about the things they were able to do that made them successful the Cleveland Cavaliers after years of playing in the post LeBron James era for a second time have figured out a recipe that will one day see them as contenders in the NBA in just a couple of years. But just before I explain what this is, I'd just like to mention that only around 9% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed, so if you could consider hitting that subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss another video like this one, it would be much appreciated. Now back to the video. Slept on additions in the past couple of years have been the reason it has seemed like the Cavs have come out of nowhere to dominate in the NBA. Adding both Lowry Markinen and Jared Allen has created the base of this lineup that not many people were talking about when they first added these players, but now find them as incredibly key players that play significant roles on this team as they are both now starters who are putting up very nice numbers. Adding Markinen and Allen to this team has created a young and extremely exciting starting lineup that are now paired with two rising star guards in Darius Garland and Colin Sexton, where the Cavs now seriously have a boatload of potential they can look forward to in the development of these players together down the road. The most significant part of these additions is that they meet the timeline expectations of all the other young core of players this Cavs team has. This in turn will allow all of them to reach their potential together and will give the front office the opportunity to have many years to build a team around them. Jarrett Allen is just 23 years old, Markinen is 24, Darius Garland is 21, Evan Mobley is 20, Isaac Okoro is 20, and Colin Sexton is just 22 years old. If everything goes well in terms of contract negotiations, this team is looking extremely promising as the average age of the guys a part of this core is just 21.6 years old, and all of them seem to have very bright futures ahead of themselves. Now, the success of this team this year has primarily come from the two potential all-stars on this team and Darius Garland and Jarrett Allen. Thus far in the Eastern Conference, both of these players are proving that they should be NBA All-Stars this year based on their statistics as Allen is averaging a cool double-double, is top 10 in rebounds in the league with a field goal percentage that is top 3 in the NBA, and this is paired up with Garland who is averaging 19 points a game and is in the top 10 in assists in the NBA. Having these two as the leaders of this squad has allowed them to take the pressure off some of the other young players on this team, allowing them to play freely while also allowing the team to try out many different lineups as you have these two guys to take control of the team when needed. The Cavs seem to have done things very differently from the rest of the NBA and what I mean by this is that instead of moving towards building a smaller lineup that has players that can play multiple positions, they have created an identity of acquiring very versatile big men that are very mobile on the court so they could use their size as an advantage without losing too much in terms of defensive quickness and versatility. This team has 7 players out of their 17 man roster that are above 6 foot 8 and they often display 
display a starting lineup of three guys on the team that are above six foot ten and Jarrett Allen, Markinen, and the newly acquired rookie in Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley has already made a statement in the NBA as he is already one of the front runners to win the Rookie of the Year award after his start that saw him win the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month award for the months of October and November. As mentioned earlier, the team has done a magnificent job at getting the right guys to fit this team's play style, and during the draft, they were luckily given the opportunity with the third pick to make an easy decision to select Mobley as he fell right into their lap and fits into their system perfectly. Mobley, Markkanen, and Allen are all players that have significantly different play styles while all still having something in common, and that is being very agile on the court. It's a strategy that is different in today's NBA since they are a little bigger than what other teams are looking for in an NBA forward, but with their frames, they still resemble players that can switch onto smaller guards and still have the ability to play strong defense against them with their size and wingspan. This has allowed the Cavs to be reckless on the defensive side of the ball creating all these different types of mismatches to confuse the crap out of their opponents. This is one of the main reasons I believe the Cavs statistics as a team will not jump out at you if you look at the numbers as they tend to fall in the top middle of the pack in almost every category, but one statistic that the team has been able to dominate in has been defensive efficiency where they currently rank second in the league. This is definitely one of the biggest factors as to why the team has had so much success thus far and why they are going to continue to have the success in the future. On top of this already decently deep six-man lineup, the Cleveland Cavaliers backed this lineup up with two guys that could honestly start on many teams this season in the NBA in Kevin Love and Ricky Rubio. This team has both of these guys bought into the system to come off the bench and be much-needed veterans on this team that will pay its dividends come playoff time with their experience. One of the most underrated parts of this team has to be these two guys coming off the bench, and as many people remember the headlines that Kevin Love found himself in, just last year, as he was going through many things on and off the court, he now looks to be much happier as a player and person, which is just awesome to see considering everything he's been through. As player mentors, Love and Rubio are also the perfect players to have to take the younger guys on this team under their wings and help them with their development. Starting with Love, he used to be one of the league's best rebounders in his prime and also was pretty lethal in terms of stretching the floor, which is almost perfect for the three starting big men on this team as this is something that can definitely definitely help them in their games. Rubio is still proving to be one of the best passers in today's NBA as he comes off the bench and is still in the top 15 in assists per game in the entire league. Rubio will definitely be able to teach and mentor guys like Sexton and Garland to just help them understand the dynamics of being a top playmaker in the NBA and he and Love are playing massive roles in the development of this team and I think that's one of the most crucial aspects for them down the road. That is going to wind down today's video about the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let me know what you guys think of this Cavs team and just how far you think they can go this year in the playoffs down below in the comments. I will be posting multiple NBA videos per week so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy to help it out with YouTube's algorithm. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a great night.